Hi, we're making a fruit battery. So first I want to just go through the supplies that we have. One is we have galvanized nails. Galvanized nails are steel nails that are coated in zinc. And the zinc is important um, part of the metal that you use for the battery. We also have uh, copper wire, thick pieces of copper wire that we got at Home Depot. Inexpensive actually, a dollar fifty for a foot. Um, we have various fruits. We also have a multimeter that has these uh, sensors coming out and we also have this wire. It's actually two wires. This is actually doorbell wire and we have these alligator clips. One of the important things that we learned is that you need the alligator clips to get a decent connection because if you just try to wrap the wire around it, it doesn't seem to grab on good enough. And then also note that the alligator clip has this screw here where we're able to screw the wire on. Some of the alligator clips don't have those screws and we couldn't get a good connection on those. I think you probably might need to solder those to get a decent connection. So the alligator clips connect to the nail and then by the wire and there's another alligator clip on the end that connects to the sensor. This is the multimeter and it's got several different readings on it which were quite confusing to us when we first got started but there's the the milliamp section here it's got 200 milliamp measure 20 milliamp and 2 milliamp so we're using the 2 milliamp because it's the smallest one and it makes sense and this is the uh, DCV direct current voltage and there's different measures here we're all using this the smallest measure for that which is 2 volts um, what's interesting there's some interesting things happening inside the fruit um, what's happening is that the zinc is dissolving off of the the nail and what it does is it it, 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 it there's a zinc atom drops off two electrons which stay in the nail and the zinc atom floats out into the uh, the juice of the orange and so those two electrons then flow up in through the nail through the wire and they actually go through the the um, which we call it the multimeter. And they come back over here to the copper side. And then on the copper side, um, two dissolved protons that are in the juice and the electrolyte juice um, combine with each other. So two prot protons combining with each other and the two freed electrons. And then that forms molecular hydrogen, which bubbles off the copper electrode. So very. And this is how you make a Kiwi battery. Goodbye, potato. What? Hello, kiwi. One of the things you got to make sure is that the uh, the nail and the copper piece of metal don't touch inside the fruit, and as well, the wires can't touch. Like if those two alligator clips were touching, then it wouldn't work. You can see here that we're getting a reading on milliamps, something like point. It takes point a while one to three. Like adjust. Yeah, it takes a while to adjust. Very interesting. Um, another interesting thing we can do is if we're, ca we're capturing both the milliamps and the volts, and basically watts is amps times volts. So we'll be able to capture the, the watts by, uh, if we get those two data points, the amps and the volts, and we can calculate the watts later. Um, another good important thing is that these can't touch. So for example, if this, if this alligator clip was touching this alligator clip, it wouldn't work. It's another, another tip. The thing we learned was that the fruit wobbles all around, so it's good to have a little holder for the fruit. That's what this cup is here for. So anyway, that's what, uh, those are some tips about our experiment. Those are some things that we learned from trial and error that would hopefully will help you with yours. One of the things we learned is that you have to roll the fruit like this. If you see that, you've got to push down because you want to break up the, uh, the insides of the fruit so that the juices spread around. We heard that's real important. Um, you can't do that with a potato, so we didn't do that with a potato.